Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Thank you so much for joining me once again for tea time. Today, I'm at the end of some misty morning. Really, really good stuff. I wanna thank you guys. Thank you for being here. Are you having some tea also? Maybe some coffee? Maybe a hard drink? In a different time zone? Maybe in our time zone, I don't know. Whatever you want. I have tea. Let me have some rum, be good. Today is going to be a Shutterstock day. What's going on with these people? What is going on? I remember doing a piece about a year ago about how stock photography is just really going the way of the dodo bird, right? It's just not doing well. I had a couple of friends that did stock photography for many, many years, 15 plus years, and they made a ton of money, guys, a ton of money. And that market just slowly has been tanking, tanking, tanking. So anyways, before I get into it, I wanna say that if you haven't went over to my website, jchristina.com, go check it out. You can use promo code YT20 at checkout just for being a subscriber here to the show. Check out all of my stuff that I've created, all of the photography gear, all right? And if there's something there you like, pick it up. Like I said, YT20 at checkout and you'll get 20% off everything. Also, don't forget to pick up my ebook. Some of you guys have been asking me about it. How do I get it? It's not working. How do I get it emailed to me or whatever? It's really super simple, all right? Go over to jchristina.com forward slash ebook. That's it, jchristina.com forward slash ebook and you will get it. It's free. 10 tips at making sharper images, something great for amateurs as well as professionals. Check it out. Anyways, getting right into this. Now, to begin with, Shutterstock originally had a, let's say a profit model where they would pay people based on their lifetime earnings, okay? So as you came into Shutterstock and start selling more and more and more, your percentage that you were being paid maybe started at 10%, went to 15, to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30, so on and so forth, okay? And that is just how they did it. Well, as of June 1st, all right, they're introducing a brand new structure and a lot of the folks that have been with Shutterstock for a long time are pissed and I think rightfully so. They might be getting the crap end of the stick in my personal opinion, and we're gonna look at this. I wanna know what you think. Do you think that they are or not? There is a couple of things that were said by the VP over at Shutterstock that makes you think that well, maybe it's a good thing. Well, like I said, I'm gonna let you decide. So now, just as a whole, just as a reference point, Shutterstock started right around, I think it was like 2003, all right? So they've been around for about, what is it, 17 years now? Quite a long time. Now, their stock in the last five years has dropped, I think it was right around 43%, close to in half. So they're not doing fantastic, they're not doing bad, all right? They're making money, um, but it has halved in the last five years, and that is basically where the market is going as far as stock. Stock photo, stock video, stock music, stock, stock, stock. There was a lot of competition. They bought out some of the competing folks out there and brought them into their company. Now, like I was saying, they are going from this percentage-based on lifetime earnings now to a flat percentage based on your sales per year, all right? And what is happening now and what is changing is instead of you building your business, your brand on Shutterstock over years, okay, like a lot of folks have over the last 17 years and get paid according to how you've built that brand, what they want to do is bring you back down to zero every single year. That is the premise of what they're doing. Now, they justify it, and we'll get into that in just a second. But let's look at this little breakdown here. As you can see, this is a breakdown of photo, illustration, and vectors. I believe video goes in there too. I'm not 100%, but 
Level one is up to 100 sales or licenses. Level two, 101 to 250. Level three, 250 to 500. Level four, 500 to 2,500. Level five, 2,500 to 25,000. And level six, over 25,000. Now, in its face, you look at it, it looks pretty good. But like I said, guys, we have that reset that happens January 1st every single year. So if you build yourself up to level four and you're getting paid now 30%, well, January 1st, you're getting paid 15%. And you have to slowly build yourself back up to that 30% where you were and hopefully get even higher, right? Now, what really makes a lot of the old timers pissed is that if they're already up to this high level of let's say 30%, okay? And as of this year, they're not doing so well because the market isn't doing well. No one is doing well. So instead of let's say making that 30% like they're making right now, because over the years they've actually really made that brand into something amazing, but this year has been an off one, well, they're going to be reset as of June 1st back to a level that they have currently sold at for this year. So from January to June 1st. And if they only sold, for example, I don't know, let's say 300 images or videos or illustrations or vector or whatever it is, if you look on the chart, 300 would be level three. So now they're being paid 25% instead of 30 or more. All right, and maybe they're doing even worse. Maybe they're down to like 240. Now they're getting paid 20%. So they're all, all of the old timers are gonna get a ding right on June 1st. All right, that's just the way it is. And what's worse is like I said, that ding becomes a bong on January 1st, 2021. Why? Because they all, everyone resets back to level one, which is 15%. So instead of them making their 30% on everything, they're gonna be making 15% and they're gonna to have to drag their way back up to where they were every single year. Well, one of the VPs wrote into, I think it was Petapixel and they, they were quoted and I'm gonna read this to you because I think it's fascinating. I really do, I think it's interesting. So this is what they say. Our contributor community is essential to our business and this change impacts everyone differently. Some will earn less due to low downloads of their content and others will have new opportunities to earn more, especially given the two additional levels that offer higher percentage earnings, 35% and 40%. The new earnings structure is designed to address both changes in the global market for creative content and rewards contributors for producing quality work that is fresh, relevant, and currently in demand by our customers. We thoughtfully considered this change and explored multiple models before determining the best approach for both our business and contributor community. Guys, so when I read this, okay, I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm a cynic, I don't know. When I read this, it feels like lawyer talk, okay? It feels like lawyer talk. It doesn't feel like something that a VP would just say off the cuff. I, I feel like this is vetted content, okay? I feel this was specifically designed to reply to Petapixel. That's what it feels like to me. Because like I said, it feels like lawyer talk. I find it fascinating that they say that we've added the 35 and 40% tier. And if we look at this chart, we can see it. We see that level five at 35% and the level six at 40%. They just added that in there. Whereas before top tier was 30%. But I am going to venture to say that these people are not stupid and they looked at their data in totality and found that there is no one or maybe the top 1% actually selling over 25,000 units to get to level six or even over 2,500 units to get to level five. I'm sure it is a minuscule portion, right? Minuscule. So I feel like that 35 and 40% that's offered is kind of disingenuous. 
Whereas the folks that are getting 30% because they've really worked at getting there over the last 10 years, let's call it, will be dropped back down to 15% if they cannot keep those numbers due to whatever is going on, COVID-19. Back to the idea that they're doing this to address changes in the global market for creative content. And that is basically it. It is not really to help those creatives, all right? They're not there to help us. They're there to boost their bottom line. And every business is supposed to do that. But when you do things like this, all right, and there isn't a good enough, let's say, or a fat enough carrot at the end of this stick, a lot of the old folks are gonna look at this and say, you know what, I'm out. I might stay right now as of June 1st because I'm gonna carry, instead of 30%, I'll be able to make 20%. But on January 1st, when I'm gonna be down to 15% and have to claw my way back up to 30, I'm just not gonna do it. I just don't wanna do it, it's too much work, right? I spent all that time getting there and building my brand on this platform. And now my brand is going to be reset to zero or level one every single year, every single year, guys. I don't know, I don't know. What is your thoughts? That's what I wanna know. What are your thoughts, you know? Do you think that stock photo, video, music is on the way out? Like I predicted a year or so ago, when I said, you know, this stuff is gonna go the way of the dodo bird. I just don't see it. There's so much free stuff out there. It's hard to license these days. And then the licensing fees are getting lower and lower and lower. Also, what do you think about this new compensation model? Do you think it is good for contributors? Or do you think it's just good for the company? Or do you think it's good for both? And finally, if you were going to become a stock photographer, a videographer, a musician, or whatever, would this new model, knowing that your work would be lowered or your payment would be lowered down to level one every single year on January 1st. Would you use this company to sell your work? Or would you look for another stock agency to sell your creative work to? I wanna know what you think. I really would like to know what you think. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you got just a little bit out of it, this much please throw it a big thumbs up that would be awesome and don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you get all my content when it becomes available and click the bell icon somewhere right around here so when it is available you will be notified of it and finally head over to my website jchristina.com where you can find all the photography tools that i've invented for you and me over the years and hopefully there's something there that you might like and if there is please pick it up and support me that would be stellar don't forget also to go over to our discord server at community.jchristina.com once again community.jchristina.com sign up it's free go check it out there's hundreds and hundreds of creatives just like you interacting from all over the world it's an awesome place i hang out there a lot so if you wanna ask me something when I'm not doing this and not in the comment area, head over to our Discord server. Once again, community.jchristina.com. And don't forget to download that ebook at jchristina.com forward slash ebook, jchristina.com forward slash ebook and use promo code YT20 at checkout if you pick up any of my wonderful awesome, fantastic photography tools. Check it out, jchristina.com. Once again, YT20 at checkout for 20% off. That's it. I am out of here. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe and stay healthy.